Hi friends, my group is going to talk about the Newton's Cravat, which I bought a couple of years back as a home decor item. And now we'll see how it works, why it works and what are the principles behind its working. So a typical Newton's Cradle looks something like this. It has five balls suspended on both ends by some strings and the balls are suspended such that they are hanging directly in the middle of those strings. Now watch what happens when I lift the first ball and let that ball drop. You can see that the initial energy that I applied to the first ball, that first ball transfers the energy all the way to the last ball. The last ball pops up, swings back and hits the other balls. Now watch what happens when I let two of them go at the same time. You can see that the middle one kind of stays in the middle, knocks off two at one end. They come back and knock two at the other end. And similarly you can continue that pattern and do three balls at the same time. And also four balls at the same time. Let's see how the Newton's cradle operates. When one of the end balls is pulled sideways, the attached string makes it follow an upward arc. When it is let go, it strikes the second ball and comes to a nearly dead stop. The ball on the opposite side acquires most of the velocity of the first ball and swings in an arc almost as high as the release of the first ball. This shows that the last ball received most of the energy and momentum of the first ball. The impact produces a compression wave that propagates to the intermediate balls. And any efficiently elastic material such as steel does this. As long as the kinetic energy is temporarily stored as potential energy in the compression of the material rather than being lost as heat. I will give you the scientific explanation behind the Newton's cradle. Newton's cradle can be modeled fairly accurately with simple mathematical equation with the assumption that the ball always collide in pairs. If one ball strikes four stationary balls that are already touching, this simple equation cannot explain the resulting momentum in all the five balls, which are not due to the friction losses. The conservation of momentum, which is mass into velocity, and the kinetic energy, which is half into mass into velocity square, can be used to find the resulting velocities for the two colliding perfectly elastic objects. These two equations are used to determine the resulting velocities of the two objects. For the case of two balls constrained to a straight path by the string in the cradle, the velocities are single number instead of 3D vectors for 3D space. So the math requires only two equations to solve the two unknowns. When the two objects weigh the same, the solution is simple. The moving object stops relative to the stationary and the stationary one picks up all the other initial velocity. These assume perfectly elastic objects so there is no need to account for heat and sound energy losses. So by now we have understood what is a Newton's cradle, how it works and also the scientific explanation behind its working. Now I will talk about the two most important factors that affect the working of a Newton's cradle. First is the different types of balls. Using different types of material does not actually change the result unless the material is efficiently elastic. The size of the spheres does not change the results unless the increased weight exceeds the elastic limit of the material. Steel is better than most materials because it allows the simple solution to apply more often in collision after the first strike. Its elastic range for storing energy remains good despite the higher energy caused by its weight and the higher weight decreases the effect of air resistance. Second is heat and friction losses. The energy losses are the reason the balls eventually come to a stop but they are not the primary or initial cause of action to become more disorderly. Away from the ideal action of only one ball moving at any instant. So this was our video in which my group members and I explained the science involved behind the simple showpiece of Newton's Cradle. We hope it was fun for everyone. Thank you very much.